Today, let us celebrate the angels, the spiritual creatures who unceasingly glorify and serve God. St. Thomas Aquinas wrote that angels work together for the benefit of us all. Angels are sent to deliver God's message and to accomplish God's divine plan. It was an angel who stopped Abraham from sacrificing Isaac. Two angels protected Lot and his family when Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed. Angels also appeared to the women at the empty tomb and to the disciples after the ascension. In most instances in the Bible, the angels are unnamed except for three, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. The angel named Michael, which means who is like God, is mentioned four times in the Bible, twice by the prophet Daniel, once in the epistle of Jude, where he is called an archangel, and in the book of Revelation. Because of his role in the heavenly army, many pray to the archangel Michael for protection against the evil one. Pope Leo XIII even composed a prayer to him in 1899. The other angel is Gabriel, which means God's strength. He is also mentioned four times, but the most memorable are his announcements of the birth of John the Baptist and that of Jesus. And in fact, he even introduced himself to Zechariah. Gabriel bequeathed to us the words, Hail, full of grace, the first part of our prayer, the Hail Mary. Lastly, Raphael, which means God has healed he is the best remembered in the Old Testament where he healed Tobit and his daughter-in-law, Sarah. Raphael's words give us a glimpse of what the angels do for us. So, brothers and sisters, the angels show God's caring to us. They announce to us God's messages. They defend us with God's power. They bring God's healing. They present our concerns to God. They are our friends. Saints Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and all the angels pray for us. <music>